Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with the card project today. Now today is actually the release of uh, the stamps, stencils and dies by Alte New. And again, they have done an amazing job, just like every month. Now this is actually part of a blog hop. There are lots of giveaways, so make sure to visit my blog for all the info. Now I'm browsing really quickly through those stamps, beautiful stamps with flowers like they always release every month. And here is something really unique, they have released dice for all the zodiac constellations. So you get not only the stars, but also, and the position of the stars, but also a beautiful writing of your zodiac sign. Now, some of them are really huge, so they would be great for scrapbooking projects. They have also released stencils that match the stamp sets and you get both the negative and uh, the positive uh, one, so masking and stenciling as well. And let's go to my favorites from this release. I absolutely love flower 3D dyes, so they have come up with three new sets this month. This is the Hibiscus Garden 3D die, which I am going to use today. This is a beautiful Garden Peaks 3D die with lots of ro roses in different sizes. And finally, this is the Wild Rose 3D die. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm using the Hibiscus Garden die set for today's card. And as you can see, I have cut out all the pieces that I need by using white cardstock. I am going with my alcohol markers by Altenew to color all the pieces. And I'm not doing any crazy coloring here or any blending at all. I'm just going to add some color on each and every piece. And uh, there are other ways that you can work with those dies. For example, you can cut out all the pieces using pattern paper. You can also cut them out by using colored cardstock. So all you have to do after you do the die cutting is just put all those uh, pieces together. So for today, I decided to go with coloring. Now, in terms of coloring, I used my Alta New Alcohol Markers. The greens I used are Evergreen and uh, Forest Glades. And of course, you will find everything I used linked down below, just like always. And for the flowers, I used three different shades of red, which are Velvet, Coral Berry and Rouge. And finally, for the center of my flowers, I used the two shades of yellow, which are uh, Orange Cream and mango smoothie. Now I am putting all those pieces together to do so I'm using white glue. This is my Nouveau Deluxe and I like this method because I can slide the pieces one on top of the other until I'm happy with their placement. Of course I'm following uh, the instructions on the packaging. And as I'm putting all those pieces together, I just want to remind you that since this is a new release, we always celebrate with a blog hop. And in the blog hop, there are lots of giveaways in every stop of the hop. So make sure to visit my blog. You will find all the details on how you can enter the giveaways. Now here is a close-up look on how my first flower is looking. And I will continue doing the exact same thing for the next two flowers. Now, before I put my card together, I'm going to work a little bit on my background and I have cut out one of those frames using the Fine Frames Cover Die. As you can see, it cuts out tons of uh, frames in different sizes, which are really thin and very elegant if you put them on top of your cards. I have cut this uh, frame out of uh, gold cardstock and I'm just going to stick it on top of a panel that is four and a quarter by five and a half. Lately, I like to work on panels and uh, when they are finished, I just stick them on top of pre-folded cards that I have on my stash. Now I'm going to do my stamping and uh, for that I went with this stamp which comes from the Kind Confetti stamp set. I like it because it adds those little splashes that give something extra on my card but not too much. And I also went with the Birthday Wishes sentiment that comes from the Stained Glass Window stamp set which is also from their new release. Now I have stamped everything with my embossing ink and now I'm going to apply some rose gold embossing powder. I'm going to use my heat gun to heat set the embossing powder and you will see that most of those little splashes are going to cover, be covered at the end of the card but you will still be able to see some of those uh, dots at the background that give that extra something of shine. I have already played around with all those pieces to decide where I want them to go and now I'm just going to stick them down by using some glue for the pieces that I want to lay flat on top of my card 
And since I always like to add some dimension, on some of the flowers I'm going to add foam squares at the back. So this goes completely flat on top of the leaves, and then the next two are, I'm going to stick them down with foam squares. Now, if you don't follow me on Facebook, maybe you don't know that I have been absent for about a week just because I was visiting Creativation in Arizona, Phoenix. I had uh, the chance to meet old friends, make new ones, and I also had the chance to see all the new products that are going to be released this year. If you want to take a look on some of my findings there, make sure to visit my Facebook page. You will see lots of photos there. Finally, I'm going to use my Nouveau Drops in gold to add some little dots here and there on my flowers. And details like that really bring the card together since now I have uh, gold on the frame, on the flowers as well as at the background. So this is the card for today. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Here are some close-up photos on the project that I made for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.